Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armon. I'm reviewing Apple. Big night here for Apple. It is earnings tonight, and we'll see what the stock actually does. Uh, and so here's how, here's the scenarios for this, actually. I want to get this up in here. <coughs> if Apple gaps up, it has to be a huge, huge gap up to look like a, an immediate buy. And um, I don't know if that's going to happen. S certainly, Apple can do that. I mean, it, 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 but it, it, low odds. So if Apple gaps up at all, it's not going to look great as a buy. But any gap up in the mark uh, in Apple will lift the market and will be really good for the market. So essentially, what I'm saying is that a gap up in Apple at any size of the gap up in Apple will really be better for the market than Apple, unless Apple blows it out with the move, which is low odds, but it could happen. I mean, I don't know what they're going to say. Um, however, if Apple gaps down, uh, this chart's going to look horrible because it's been selling off actually since the last earnings, uh, which was on here, November 2nd. I mean, it literally has sold off ever since then. So all of November, all of December, and all for three solid months, the stock has sold off. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and if that happens, if Apple gaps down in the earnings, what is it going to mean for the market? Well, I don't know where the market closes today, but I will say that the market's gapping up right now and looks pretty good here. And also, um, we've rallied so much since early uh, January, late late December, that I don't think even if we fall tomorrow, if Apple bombs tonight, even if the market falls, which if Apple gaps down, it could drag down the market. I don't think this is going to change anything here with this market look. And remember, Amazon's out Thursday night, another big, big night for the market. So we'll see what happens. Watch it. I mean, the only way that Apple looks like a good buy for, again, we're looking for short term here, day trading, not long term. I mean, Apple isn't going out of business. It's just the company right now. This hasn't been a good place to go long it. It has to blow it out on the earnings to look like a, a strong chart again to me. Um, it's holding the uptrend, but barely. So I'll be watching this tonight. Good luck, everyone, and be careful. But wait to see how it reports.